Hi, I'm Steph, and this is Mac, and that's Tosh. About a month ago, I was petting Mac's head, and I noticed a little bump, and I kind of looked, and there was a little bump on her head. So I uh, went to my vet, and I said, hey, you know, is this a problem? She said, oh, yeah, it looks like there's a tumor on her head, and I was like, what? A tumor? And she's like, sorry, sorry, uh, a tumor is just kind of what you use to describe a growth of some sort. So it wasn't saying it was something bad, it just, it's a tumor, and she said there's different kinds and some that aren't good, some that are not, are not a problem, but she couldn't tell just by looking at it if it was a problem tumor or not. So she said, I'd like to take it off, and this is what I would do, da da da. And so I was like, okay, well, whatever you say. And so I actually had, um, Greyhound Max was staying with me the next week and then the week after Link and Layla were staying with me and so I was like can I schedule it in a couple weeks and she's like yeah yeah I'll be fine so I went ahead and schedule it and so Mac is having the tumor removed tomorrow and once it's removed and, she, and it's small so she said it should be done pretty quickly with general anesthesia so I'm hoping everything goes well with that and uh, I will have to follow up I think in 10 days to get the stitches out but we'll see. And she told me once she takes the tumor off, she is going to have it analyzed to see if it's, you know, cancerous or what it could be. But I will say in over like the month time of like when I first noticed it, it's grown. So that's a little disconcerting that it is growing kind of rapidly. So I'm glad it's getting taken off. So Mac will be hopefully tumorless tomorrow and um, I'll share with you the journey of it all. So we're in the room and Mac is, she shakes because she knows where she is. This is a great vet. I love my vet, but Mac, not so much. So there's really no way to calm her. So I try, but she's smart. She knows where she is. All right, so I am headed home now and uh, Mac they take such good care of her there. I just have to say like, they show so much like care and compassion for my greyhounds that it just like warms my heart. And the vet is amazing. Like she's just so good. And what I really like about this vet is before um, they have surgery or anything, or really anytime I go in, they put me in a room right away. So I'm not like in the waiting room with um, like other animals. And then they come in and talk to me about what's gonna happen, have me sign things, explain to me everything. And that's just so nice because in my old vet, they didn't do that. So I don't know if that's typical, if that's something that this vet does, but um, I've, I've just been very impressed with my new vet. Let's go check in on Tosh and give her some food because she didn't get to eat yet today. All right, here's your breakfast. Good girl. A little late, but <laughs> I give her 
a full bone instead of half a bone because she was very patient. So it is 10, 19, and I literally just got a phone call and they said the Mac is done. So that is awesome. Um, and they said the longest, the thing that took the longest was Mac to calm down. So they actually did have to give her some pre-meds, I guess, before the anesthesia to calm her. But I guess she did calm and they were able to do it. So I guess everything went well. They're going to let her come out of the anesthesia and all that. So I can pick her up about one o'clock. So that'd be perfect because... I have a meeting at 11 and then I can probably pick up Mac right after lunch. All right, so we're going to pick up Mac. Hopefully she's doing well. Uh, I took mom, mom actually is driving so that'll be a little bit easier to get her. So we're headed out to the vet now. I don't really need to do anything. No. There's no, I don't need to put anything on it. No. Just don't let her scratch it. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, just keep her from scratching it. Um, and she can eat. Don't let Josh lick it or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, Josh does not lick Mac, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that's helpful. Hi. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. All right, so we have Mac back. She's so sweet. So she seems like she did really well. Um, I do have a lovely parting gift from the vet. A giant bag with one medication. So she has four tablets of pain meds that I'm going to give her over the next eight days because I think I give her half. Um, and then other than that, just, you know, don't let her scratch it. So I'm going to hopefully uh, not have to do anything so she just won't scratch it, hopefully. So, but I keep an eye on her, uh, especially the first few days. When I get home, I'm going to try to feed her, but it, um, it all went well. And I would love right now, before I tell you, I'd love you to go in the comments and tell me how much you think this vet visit, visit costs. Now, like I said, I love my vet. And if you have animals, you know what vet bills cost. So go and comment what you think. And I will. It's kind of like when you go to Costco and you guess what the checkout's gonna be, how much is it gonna be? And it's like always. It's more. always more than you yeah. think it's gonna be. I'll tell you at the very end how much it was. And I'll break down what each of the items were um, and how much they cost, just if you're curious, because I think it's kind of interesting. She's ready. Oh. I was just totally sniffing her. Does she smell like the vet? Mac, I use Cyclops. <laughs> Cyclops, Max. Okay. Be really careful. Oh, you did nailed it. it. Nailed it. Okay. Oh, I know. I'll save you a piece. Save this for Tish. So it's actually the next day and Mac did great. Uh, she was super chill yesterday cause she was still coming off the anesthesia, but uh, she ate well and she went to the bathroom and she had a good night. Um, I woke up a couple times in the night with um, like 
when she like rolled over and stuff because it's like, oh, don't touch the stitches, but everything went fine. You know, I don't think there's any issues with the stitches so far. I am still a little concerned about her scratching the stitches. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on her. And so far everything's going well. She just was a rock star and um, and also, if you want to know how much the whole uh, vet bill was, it was um, about $650. I'll put it on the screen, the things that it was. Um, so they actually are going to do a, um, they're going to analyze the the tumor to see what it is. So that was all included in the price as well. All right, so it has been 10 days since Matt got uh, her stitches and it is time to take them out. So my friend Stephanie is on her way over here to um, help remove the stitches. And so... We're gonna see how she does. So this is Stephanie. This is my friend Stephanie. She is, I actually brought a vet tech, certified vet tech here. Like you're even in your, your yes. outfit. I love it, cause you just came from work. Yeah, I just came from work. Yeah. I work part-time as a veterinary dermatology technician for a veterinary dermatologist. Itchy, smelly animals. Itchy, smelly. And the dogs are loving smelling her. Oh yeah, I smell fantastic. Yes. No one had anything <laughs> contagious today that I saw. Oh, good, so. good, good. So she is going to take off, uh, take out uh, the stitches. So we're gonna see how that goes. Good girl, you're doing so good. Good girl. Good girl, good oh. girl, good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Got one. Ooh, we can keep those and collect them. There we go. Oh, yeah. We just yeah. need to get underneath it. Did we get it. that? Did we get that? We just need to get underneath it. Plus, also on the head, she's got... Oh, we got another one. Do you want another treat before we take the treat? last one? There's yeah. three of them. Some treats. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. One more. You just good have girl. one more. There we go. There we go. Did it? I'm pretty sure I did. I just have to... Yeah, I got it. Stephanie got it. I did nothing. So the the red is just the scabbing. That's just scabbing. Just yeah. scabbing. Yeah. So, now go away. Good girl. So you got your three little sutures. Those are tiny. These are the sutures. Yeah, they're pretty small. So. So what is the thing that was on her head? She had a cyst, a sebaceous cyst, I believe is what. I think that's what the doctor said. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, sebaceous cyst. So basically. Um, you know, you have sweat glands and other glands at your skin. You, you know, you have pores. Yeah. So sometimes those get clogged, like a you know blackhead or yeah. a pimple. Um, but occasionally those will get. I don't want to say infected, although an infection can cause them. Yeah. And they just get fluid filled with or fluid filled, or they can get sebaceous material. So it's kind of cheesy like. Mm -hmm. And so, um, is it? Did it need to be removed? It, like... I would, but based on the location. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and the fact that it was, it popped up so quickly, yeah. it's best to get it off in case, because a lot of things that pop up quickly are usually bad. Mm, okay. So if you have a growth on your dog or cat that is growing quickly, you need to go see your vet yes. and have it checked out. So they'll either recommend cutting it off immediately or um, doing potentially a fine needle aspirate to get a few cells from it to see, sometimes with cysts. If you poke it, you can, mm. you know, drain them. Yeah. Um, but they'll just come refill. Is this considered a tumor? Because when she told me she said it was a tumor, and she said a tumor is just the name of, like, it's, any growth. Yes. Yeah, so anytime you have a growth, yeah. that is what a tumor means. Okay. Tumors can either be benign, meaning they're not yeah. dangerous, or malignant, meaning that they are. So they can be, you can have cancerous growths, you can have cysts so well thank you for taking off You're her welcome. stitches i know that was a lot like even though she moved around and was not particularly cooperative she didn't um grumble at me she didn't show any she, aggression yeah she didn't hit she, her uh, she, i mean she does not this dog is a very sweet girl who does not like to be restrained <laughs> so um i kind of feel like if she had gone to the vet for right. that she would have been Stress. Stress. Yes. Highly stressed. So So is there anything I need to do with the um with just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't look like it's getting infected. It should Okay. <laughs> Great. Heal up. I like to check my dogs at least once a week. I grow mine um weekly. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily bathe them because greyhounds you don't have to bathe weekly. Yeah. Um actually you shouldn't bathe them that frequently because they don't have a lot of need for it yeah uh, and dries their skin out but i do mm -hmm. i do brush 
um, my own dog at least once a week, um, trim his nails, clean his ears. And while I do that, I run my hands through his, over his entire body, look between his toes, um, in his ears, under his tail, just to make sure there's nothing weird. So he's currently got a couple of scrapes from just being a crazy <laughs> boy dog. So a big thank you to Stephanie for taking out the stitches. Mac did great. And uh, she is just lounging and enjoying life without her stitches. And this will continue to heal up and the hair will grow back uh, where this was. And we'll see what kind of scar she might have or might not have. Who knows? <laughs> so thanks for joining and have a great day.